Okay, YouTube. Here it is, the field piece, MR45. I'm going to call it the Mr. 45 recovery machine. Um, I just got this in the mail. They just sent it over. Let's go over a couple things real quick. Super fast, one horsepower at 3,300 RPM. Rubber protection, abrasion resistant cylinders. Adjust for voltage drop. Micro channel condenser, self purge. I like the self purge feature. Um, lightweight, 22 pounds, smooth and quiet. Blue backlit LCD. Easy port access single routing knob and cord storage this is the back of the box and it shows you the unit if it was taken apart you got your micro channel condenser your compressor and motor condenser fan motor and your valves that's what the inside looks like it shows you the inside of the cylinders power cord storage your knob and let's get into some specs here some of these things you guys will probably want to know of course the weight 22 pounds. Those are your dimensions 14.8 inches by 9.8 inches by 13 and a half inches. Okay, let's see. It has 11 millimeter mesh screen that's stainless on your inlet port. Max current draw, this is important 12 amps. Okay, AC. Your power source, you can go down to 95 volts and up to 130 volts at 60 hertz. It has a DC motor that's one horsepower, variable smart speed. The compressor is twin cylinder reciprocating and it's oilless. Your final recovery vacuum is 14.9 inches. This is important, the high pressure shutoff is at 558 PSIG, normal. Okay, so next let's get this thing opened up and check it out. Okay, when you open it up, it looks like we got some spare uh, inlet screens right here see the mesh screens so they do provide you with some spares and some o-rings for that spare inlet filter screens don't lose those you're going to need them now i'm going to put a filter dryer on my recovery unit i always have you'll see on my old recovery unit back there let's zoom in um i always had a filter dryer on there see the little black filter dryer um and i'm going to put one on this unit as well so here it is inside here. Let's get her opened up. Okay, when you get it out of the box, it's wrapped in plastic. You'll get a nice uh, owner-operator manual here. We can take a look at that in just a second. And we'll get the packaging off our recovery machine. Okay, and this is what it looks like in the flesh. First thing I noticed right off the bat, it is nice and light. Um, it is absolutely rubberized, like it says. This is your power cord and your power cord holder is on the handle. The handle is fixed. And that's where your power cord snaps in. That's your screen. Control knob feels great. And this is it, real simple. Inlet port, outlet port. And behind here you'll have your, uh, your screens. Should be behind this one here. Let's get her opened up. Okay, so on your inlet, this will come off. There's your O-ring. So you get new O-rings with your inlet screen kit, and then there's the inlet screen. So you'll want to periodically check that um, to get it all cleaned up and changed out. I'm going to put a filter dryer on mine, so that should help it stay cleaner longer. I've always done that with my recovery machines. Uh, it does have operation instructions on one side panel. To get you right through there and uh, we'll go over this and I got a job we can use it on today so let's get out there and give this thing a workout okay so in the manual here <clears throat> there's some good uh, good information if you look at number seven there this is right from the printed field piece manual use a small dryer filter on the input port and change it often to protect machine from contaminated refrigerants. Um, Self-purge after each use. No refrigerant should remain in the machine. So this is these are good tips. Oh, there was another one on here too. Do not use with hydrocarbons. 
On this page here is an overview of, of what the screen will display. Your input pressure, your output pressure, status icons and messages, and your four buttons. I'll go over this when I get the unit plugged in and working later. Okay, I thought I'd share this one with you. Dynamic pressure measurement. The Mr. 45 pressure readings are designed only for monitoring pressures. Do not use the Mr. 45 for diagnostic pressure measurements. If a system's pressure is stable, Mr. 45 pressure reading will be close to your other pressure gauges. If a system's pressure is changing, pressure measurements at different locations within that system will be different. For every three feet of quarter inch hose, the pressure may have a difference of approximately plus or minus 20 PSIG. So that's good information there. Mr. 45 self test. Perform this test to ensure the high pressure cutoff and pump are operational. So you set the knob to recovery. Open the import to the air. Connect the ball valve to the out port. Close the ball valve. Press the start to create pressure at the out port. Mr. 45 is working well if high pressure cutoff occurs at 550 PSIG within 45 seconds. Cutoff time can increase if a hose is placed in front of your ball valve. So you get a little self test. Um, you also want to purge, purging Mr. 45. After every recovery, to pump the last bit of refrigerant out of Mr. 45 for longer life. So the instructions do show um, the different ways of doing re recovery. So this is just your basic regular setup. That's how most of you guys do your units. Direct liquid vapor recovery. And then if you get on bigger units, it does show you units over 30 pounds, <clears throat> they want you to use the push-pull method. You can take a look at that right here if you guys have never seen that before. There's a nice diagram in the instructions. And then it also shows here enhanced direct liquid recovery. This method reduces the vapor pressure in the cylinder for faster liquid recovery. Vapor recovery is slowed, however, because vapor is recovered only through the liquid port of the system. So it shows you another way to hook that up. Right there, I'll let you guys look at that for a sec. You do get some troubleshooting information in here. Let's turn the page and see what's next. I think is maintenance. Occasionally pump a teaspoon of mineral oil through the Mr. 45. That's good information. When the mesh screen filters becomes dirty and clogged, it means it's working to keep Mr. 45 working well. You need to clean or replace the screens often. And it goes over the limited warranty. Okay, here's a size comparison. That's my old, uh, what was that one, the RG410. Um, so you can see the size comparison. The weight difference is not going to come over on video, but man, the field piece, Mr. 45, so much lighter than this recovery unit. You guys are really going to like that. So I put my filter dryer on there. That's what it looks like with the filter dryer on. That's what the old one looked like. So I'm going to go recover this makeup table in there. We'll see how fast it goes and check the whole thing out. Okay, so what do we got? Turbo Air, 9.2 ounces. Turn on my makeup table here. It's a little two door makeup. Okay. Yeah, So let's go get this recovered. Okay, so I got the valves open. And this thing's supposed to hold nine, nine and a half ounces. That's the back of the Turbo Air. See how fast it cranks that out of there. Let's see, we're at 10:56 a.m.
sounds like real world. I'll stand up and walk away from it. two minutes to get the zero for nine and a half ounces. stops itself and then it tells you hey I'm done very cool okay now we're self purging I got the inlet total for nine and a nine and a half ounces not too bad that's with the self purge all right so after using it I really like how light it is it's really lightweight it seems to work fine I'll try and get it on some bigger units so stay tuned I would recommend this recovery machine for sure it's uh, built well rainproof lightweight easy to use and that's the field piece mr. 45 or mr 45 variable speed refrigerant recovery machine if you need a recovery machine check this unit out purchase one and I hope you enjoy it it's uh, they did a really good job on this field piece did and if you like it check one out and I hope you enjoy it.